Hi everybody. Good afternoon. So I guess hindi na tayo magma-mic muna ngayon. Hello sa lahat. Ay. Hello sa mga viewers natin sa mga on the go natin diyan. Okay. So welcome to another Knowledge on the Go. Learn at home, stay at home edition. Because I'm very time matuto. We can all have fun and interact with each other. And of course, we can win a prize. And that prize is 250 pesos worth of loads. Our team magiging top scorer of the day. Ayan. So ang alam niyo na kung ano gagawin natin dito ha. Sa mga bagong pasok po, ito po ay isang trivia game show kung saan manggagaling ang mga categories mula sa math, science, araling panlipunan, Filipino, English. Mga inaral naman po natin lahat ito nung elementary tayo. But of course, kailangan natin ng matinding stock knowledge and uh, matinding common sense. Kasi minsan sa mga tanong doon na nanggagaling yung sagot talaga para pagka inobserve mo maigi, may kita mo na yung answer. And sa mga lagi nandi dito, malamang alam nyo na yung mga paulit-ulit natin mga tinatanong dyan. Like for example, sa kategory na yung English. But then again, you have to refresh your brain. And in order to do that, we need to learn and learn. Unlimited. Kasi talaga namang ang knowledge ay uh, hindi naman yan alam na natin ng lahat, di ba? It's a day-to-day experience kung saan madami tayo natutunan and ayun nga yung ginagawa natin dito. So, habang tayo ay naghihintay na mag-start, punta na kayo sa Knowledge Channel's Facebook page. Ayan. Para ma-share na natin. Okay. How are you, guys? How are you? Uh, hello sa mga bagong pasok. Gary De Leon, Otosuki, Rachel, uh, Jam Chua, Ruby Dobla. Ayan. So, punta tayo sa Knowledge Channel. And then, i-share na natin ang link. Para masalaming makapanood. O, diba? Bukod dun kasi, pag madami nakakakita, mas madami ang natututo. So, it's all about spreading the good news. Spreading knowledge. Sharing what we know. We only have two minutes, guys, para i-share yung ating uh, live for today. So do it, do it, do it, do it. Ayan. So ako sharing it on my uh, Facebook page and Facebook profile. Ayan. Anyway, guys, ha, sana itong ginagawa ko to. Ginagawa niyo din ako share. Okay, yeah. I already shared it on my profile and now on my page. Okay, guys. Sana sa mga parating ng video, alam niyo na, napaunahan ito. And uh, hindi na tayo dapat mo-opya kasi that and mag-cheat. What is winning kung tayo naman ay dinadaya din natin yung mga sarili natin? Diba? Winning is all about fulfillment. And uh, ma-fulfill lang natin yung sarili natin kapag ka tayo ay ginagawa natin yung tama. For example, dito, di ba? Hindi, hindi, hindi mo makuha yung 100% satisfaction kung tayo ay nandaya. But anyway, it's up to you. So uh, to make it more fun, do it with your family and friends. Uh... Grizel, Oliva, Ruby, Mina. So, uh, oy, nandito yung mga kasama ko sa Kumu kagabi. Thank you for viewing my live stream sa Kumu last night. Inabot tayo ng 4 hours. But again, it is so much fun. So, sa mga gusto sumali, sa uh, Team Kumu Marlo, ayan, message na sila, Evil Lenueva, Jane Casabuena. Andun lahat ng updates, pati itong knowledge uh, on the go ko. Ayan, in-update ko kanina mismo dun sa group namin. But of course, kailangan doon ay active kayo sa Kumu. Anyway, we only have... <coughs> Excuse me. 10 seconds left. Go na, go na ba kayo mag-knowledge on the go? 
At dahil go na kayo, go na go na rin ako, di ba? Azrael Andrew Gonzalez. Let's go! <clears throat> Round 1. Ito ang pinakamataas na anyo ng lupa. Isa sa mga halimbawa nito ay ang Sierra Madre. 1. Kapatagan. 2. Vulcan. 3. Bundok. Or number 4, Burol. Okay. Let's check out with our on-the-go players. Mga ka-on-the-go ko. Dance Bosky said 3. Azenab said 3. Bundok. Parang si Azenab, pwede nyo pong uh, gawin yan na bukot sa number ng sagot nyo, pwede nyo i-type sa tabi niya yung mismong word. O, ba? Para mas sure talaga tayo kasi yung computer natin, mas kinocompute niya din pag sure. Pero, again, paunahan po ito. Pagkaya lang po ng inyong time. The answer is number three, bundok. Ang pinakamahabang hanay ng bundok sa Pilipinas ay ang Sierra Madre. Matatagpuan sa gitnang Luzon, ngunit ang kahabaan nito ay umaabot hanggang Timog Luzon. Wow, that is so fast. Okay, congratulations. Lani, Danz, Azena, Ruvi, Riri, and 182 other players. Round 2. Medyo naglalag lang po sa system ko, but please keep on going. Ito ay mataas na bahagi ng lupa na patag ang ibabaw. Ang lungsod ng Baguio sa Benguet na matatagpuan sa gawing hilaga ng Luzon ang pinakatanyag na klase ng anyong lupa na ito sa bansa. 1. Talampas 2. Vulcan 3. Bundok or number 4. Kapatagan Okay, key in your answers. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. So, uh, uh, Janet said one. Julian said four. Gian said hi, kuya. <laughs> Anong sagot ni Gian? Tio Vibongkale said one. Remaya de la Cruz said one. Will Kyla Reyna said one. Sabi naman ni Jeremy Tonato, four. Kapatagan. The answer is one talampas. Alam niyo ba na ang pangalan ng Baguio City ay nanggaling sa salitang Baguio? Ang ibig sabihin nito ay Moss sa indigenous language ng Benguet region. So congratulations, Josh, Sherry, Julian, Lynn, Raver, and 148 other players. Round 3. Ito ay anyong lupa na katulad ng bundok. Ang pagkakaiba lamang ay may bunga nga ito sa tukto. Hmm. May mga panahong ito yung nagiging aktibo at pumuputok. 1. Kapatagan 2. Vulcan 3. Lambak 4. Burol We should be very mindful ha? Kasi minsan yung iba halos magkakapareho But this specific one ay dapat alam natin Kasi it's part of our 2020 talaga Nanguna siya sa pagpasabog uh, bago ang mangyari itong COVID. Ayan muna ang naging ano natin dito. Uh, matinding balita. <laughs> but everybody said uh, two. Dito sa mga nakikita ko, Jean, John, Carlo, Hi, Jamie, Dorai, Referenda, Jess, Jen, J.R. Ivy, Avan said Vulcan. And the correct answer is Vulcan. Ang halimbawa ng Vulcan, wow, 200 64 players na nakakuha ng tamang sagot ay ang Bulgang Mayon. Matatagpuan ito sa Albay, sa Rio ng Bicol. Tanyag ito dahil sa kanyang perfect cone. Tanyag din ang Bulgang Taal. Ito naman ang pinakamaliit na Bulgang sa Pilipinas. Ayun ang Taal. Round 4. What is the estimated product of 72 times 512? 1. 35,864 2. 36,000 3. 35,000 Or number 4, 36,864 O, oh, pwede naman kayo mag-calculator, guys. Kasi kung unless na ganun ang kabilis ang inyong brain, <laughs> nakaya nyo lang sa utak niyo compute, why not? Pero pwede niyo kayo magkuha ng pen and paper Para at least isasolve nyo pa din. But then again, hindi ko naman kayo makikita. So, uh, wala naman problema mag-calculator. But please, do it ha. Pagkakawin nyo yung tamang sagot, pwede nyo itong i-note and do it. 
uh, gawin nyo sa notes nyo para makita nyo kung paano natin nakuha yung tamang answer. Rina said 4, Chelsea said 3, Irish said 4, uh, Rafaela said 3. Yeah. A milk distributor delivered 124 boxes of chocolate milk to the grocery store. But then again, lumagpas po sa akin yung tamang sagot. So, uh, mamaya po natin yung recap. Each box contains 36 tetra packs. How many tetra packs of chocolate milk were delivered? One, 4,654 tetra packs. <clears throat> Two, 4,464 tetra packs. Three, 5,644 tetra packs. Or number four, 5,744 tetra packs. Okay. So, nandito pa rin tayo sa category ng math. Sabi po ni Chris sa nalangan. 2. 4,464. Sabi naman ni Princess Bacares. Computed po. Um, okay, what is your answer then, Princess? Sabi ni Tony Miano. 2. Sabi ni uh, Eckhart Setnam, 2. Leia Bautista said, 4,464. Beth Demisilio said, 2. Ayan. Ay, hindi. Guys, pakicomplete po yung answer. Sabi po ni Beth Demisilio, 2. 464. 4,464 po yun. So again, yung computer po natin ay very particular po sa mga ganyan. Ha, pag may kulang na number... Uh, pero ito po, nagahang po sa akin ngayon. So, I'm gonna refresh it. Uh, just continue. Ad- What is N times 111? Equals 6,105. 150. 260, 361, or 455. Let us see. Uh, Rona Cruz said 3. EJ Mosero said 3. Rosana said 3. But the correct answer is 4. So congratulations. Mga nakuha ng tamang sagot. Round 7. This book has alphabetically arranged list of words with definitions, meanings, pronunciations, and other information about the words. 1. Thesaurus 2. Novel 3. Dictionary or number 4. Comics Key in your <clears throat> answers. And So, wala po COVID, guys. I have allergic rhinitis, kaya lagi yung nangangati ang aking nalamunan, ang aking nose. Ngala-ngala, everything ay po yung effect niya. So, it's something I have dealt with all my life. If you're dealing with the same thing, comment. Sabi po ni Anne at ni Bonique at ni uh, Edwin ay dictionary. Sabi naman po ni... Uh, hmm, halos lahat pala dictionary ang sagot. Sabi ni Micaela Gallego, four comics. Hmm. But almost everybody said three. And the correct answer is... Let's wait for it. Hindi pa din lumalabas po sa akin. But again, ayan. Dictionary number three. So congratulations to our 208 players. Round eight, we are halfway through. Which of the following is not included in a dictionary? One, syllabication. Two, correct pronunciation. Three, prose. Or number four, meaning of word. Ayan po. Ilagay nyo na po sa ating comment section ang mga tamang sagot. Ganun lang po ating gagawin. Ilalagay nyo na po sa comment section yung sagot. You can do it uh, in a full... Uh, uh, what I call this? In a full... Huwag ko na sabihin. Basta full. Yun na yun. Kasi yung iba sinasabi nila dito. Full thought. Ayan, ayan. Kahit hindi number three lang. Number three, pros. Pwede po yun. Para kasama po yung mismong Sagot. Yeah, so, uh, alam nyo na, minsan tayo ay naglalag din. Parang yung system natin. 
<laughs> okay. Sabi dito ay number three pros. Sabi ng mga ating uh, ka-on the go. Edward Lee Susilan, Joyce Dotton, Melissa Rinya said number three pros. The correct answer is number three pros. So tama kayo guys. Ang galing-galing naman ang ating mga on the go. Kasi po, we are now in round nine. Ayan. Ano in a dictionary? What do you call the word printed at the top of a page indicating the first or last word entry on that page? One, lexicon. Two, etymologies. Three, guide words. Or four, phonemes. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Ayan, nandito pa din tayo sa category na English. Okay. Iba-iba tayo ng sagot dito. Reyna said etymologies. Remaya said number three. Uh, Jebel Ken said three. Nico said three guide words. Actually, hindi pala. Karamihan pa din pala dito ay number three. May mga ilan lang na nagsasabi otherwise. Okay. The correct answer is number three guide words. So, guide words are printed at the top of a page indicating the first or last word entry on that page. Round 10. It is a type of mixture where the components are evenly distributed throughout and the mixture has a uniform appearance. 1. Heterogeneous mixture. 2. Bigenous mixture. Four, uh, 3. Homogeneous mixture. Or number 4. Indigenous mixture. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jericho Luis said three. Isa Valencia said three. Uh, Aki Sendana said number three. Uh, Pagpasensya nyo na, ako ay naglalag. Dito sa aking system. I am just gonna refresh. But please keep on going. Michelle Lim said three. As well as Christy. Uh, Kimberly said. Two. Rice grains and corn grits. Three, white sugar and iodized salt. Number four, flour and baby powder. All right, Erica Jean Deso said number two. Michael H. Chavez said one. Oh, you may batay dito. Will Hamina said three. Adela said four. So, okay, lahat tayo dito may sagot. May sumagot ng one. Ito naman sa isang row na to, puro one. Journey, Alia, Dave, Sharalyn, Thimes, Riri, Maria, Rafaela, one. The correct answer is number two. Rice grains and corn grits. Some solid materials, when mixed with other solids, cannot be distinguished from each other. If the resulting mixture looked the same throughout, it is a homogeneous mixture. Round 12. Which of these is, is an example of a homogeneous mixture? Since na na lang din naman tayo. One, soil. Two, air. Three, water and oil. Or number four, fruit salad. So if ever, follow nyo lang po yung mga uh, train ng questions natin. And then, uh, makuha nyo yung thought. Kasi nga, sinabi naman din natin yung uh, uh, meaning ng iyan na uh, tinatanong natin. But, Iba iba pa din tayo na answer. Rainyal said one. J Ann said two. Uh, Elena Is- Isalina said three. Um, Hale Sophia Hermogena said two. Air Catherine Paglikawan said three. Water and oil. Let's go. The correct answer is number two. Air. Air is 
homo- homogeneous because it's a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and carbon dioxide, along with other elements in smaller amounts. It can also be separated out physically. So, congratulations, mga na kwa natama sagot, guys. Don't don't go away, kasi na nakita ko konti lang yung sumasagot. If you don't know the answer, just guess. Trust your instinct. Kasi sayang po yung ating prize. And sayang naman yung mga mapupunta sa leaderboard. Huwag kayo agad mapanghinaan ng love if you get it wrong. Okay? Round 13. Ano ang kasalungat ng salitang watak-watak? Sa pangusap na ito, watak-watak ang katutubong tribo. 1. Bikis-bikis. 2. Iwahiwalay. 3. Sama-sama. Or number 4. Sabay-sabay. So, ang kasalungat po ay... Ang uh, opposite ng meaning ng watak-watak. So, ang watak-watak ay hiwa-hiwalay. So, ano po ang opposite noon? Sabi ni Ralph Legaspi, 3, sama-sama. Sabi naman po ni KJ Lasam, I3. KJ, welcome! So, knowledge on the go. Mary Grace Pendon said 3. Joyce said 3. Um, Luis Ibareta said hiwa-hiwalay. Baka na nito lang si Luis. Kasi po, ang tama sagot ay number three, sama-sama. Ang hiwa-hiwalay po, ayun po, ay ang synonym in English. Okay, round 14, last two questions. Alin ang kasalungat ng salita? Unang, sa pangusap na ito, mga unang tao ang mga negrito. One, isang. Two, limang. Three, huling. Or number four, ni Nuno. So again, kasalungat ang hinahanap. In English, Antonin. Ano po ang kasalungat ng una? Okay, so again, una ay pwede up. Sila ang, uh, kanya sa letter A. Sa alphabet, siya yun. Kasi A ng unang-una. Parang si God, He is the Alpha and the Omega. So, uh, sa kanya tayo nagmula. Ano naman ang Kasalungat na unang. Okay. Let's see. Axel let's said number two. Uh, Jodeline Likai said number three. Mary Grace said number three. Sabi din ni Vanna yan. Sabi din ni Janice Miranda. Ang tamang sagot ay number three. Congratulations, Hale, Yen Yen, Ekarg, at sa mga ibang players natin. This is the last question, guys. Matititermine natin ito. Kung sino ba ang mananalo ng 250 pesos worth of prepaid load? O magagamit natin yan. Pati sa pang kumu, magagamit natin yan. Ha? So important yan. Round 15. Ano naman ang kasalungat ng salitang nagpapauli-uli? Ito po ang sentence. Nagpapauli-uli ang mga tao sa mall. 1. Nagpapalayo. 2. Nagpapalapit. 3. Nagpapabalik-balik. Or number 4. Nagpipirmi. O, sa mga mahilig mag-mall, ano ang kasalungat ng salitang nagpapauli-uli? O, ba? Again, tingnan nyo muna kung ano yung root word dun sa nagpapauli-uli. Then you could relate it on how you always uh, use it sa inyong uh, regular uh, day-to-day life. Kasi word na yan din ay madalas din naman natin pong magamit. Sabi po ni Derek Aquino, relampago rel- number four, nagpipir me. Francis Nino Digamo said number four, nagpipir me. <laughs> Sabi ni Almi Aragon, Nye, late na late, patapos na, kakatapos lang ng work. Di bale, meron na late tayo sa Tuesday. Don't you worry, every Tuesday and every Thursday po ang Knowledge on the Go Live. Anyway, PJ Laconsai said number three, nagpapabalik-balik. The correct answer is... Nagpapabalik-balik. You are correct, Nikki V, as well as... Uh, Joyce Doton, Carmela Ann Belista, ang first major shopping mall sa Pilipinas ay ang Ali Mall sa Araneta Cubao. Ang Ali Mall ay pinangalan kay Muhammad Ali, isang boxing legend. Congratulations, Lani Dionisio Taneco. You won with 13 correct answers. 
So, attain na lang po ang knowledge on the GO team to contact you on how you could uh, get your prize, which is a 250 pesos worth of load. And sa lahat po ng mga ka-on the go natin na talaga naman ginalingan, Grizel Ann Oliva, Aki Sandana, uh, Aaron James De Jesus, Erica Jean De Jesus, and T.O.V. Bongkales, ayan, all with 13 correct answers as well. Kina KJ Lasam, Angeline Fulgencio, Julian, uh, Jeanette, Gas, Journey, Jericho, Lisa, Perly May, hello! Hail Sophia Hermogeno, Kimberlyn, Dakio, Diana Rose, Longasa. Congratulations naman, naka-12 correct answers kayo at minsan na pinagbasihan na lang ay kung sino ang mas mabilis. Ah, ayun pala, hindi lang minsan. Ang pinagbasihan na po ng computer natin pag tayo ako sino ang pinakamabilis. So again, congratulations po sa inyo lahat. If you wanna see me and join me uh, uh, like this, pero in a different setting, kakanta naman ako, uh, please download Kumu and follow me at Marlo Mortel Music and uh, join me almost every night at 9 or 10 p.m. I'll grant your requests. Pero syempre, sa knowledge on the go po, thank you for always uh, tuning in. Kita-kita po ulit tayo sa Tuesday, but don't forget to follow Knowledge Channel sa Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll see you guys. It's another time for us to learn and uh, win next Tuesday. Bye-bye.